Hey everybody, this is a video on how to make the very long spring of stainless to make the little rings to make chainmail. So, what you currently would have to do to make these springs is you would need a jig such as this, which is just an aluminium bar with a hole drilled in it and you would just attach a power drill on the end and what you would do is hook the wire into the hole and then twist it around round and round and round or the drill would twist it around into a spring. Now the, the only problem with this sort of setup is that what you currently need is a welding glove to hold to hold the wire as you're going along and you've got to keep that tension on it to make a really nice tight spring now the problem with that is that you need a lot of hand strength so instead of doing it that way instead I've made up another jig which is this here now what that is, is the wire comes in through this side here, goes three, through past the three guide rollers, and then I will create a kink in the end. Now, what this allows me to do is it allows me to use a much longer bar and these three guide rollers make the tension for the stainless steel wire. Oh, now one thing I will note uh, that this is 1.6 mil stainless, which is purely an ornamental thickness. But with our chainmail at the moment, we're doing a one in six pattern, so that it'll be a little bit stronger. So. The best part about this jig here is I don't have to use a very small bar now. Now I can use an extremely long bar. Now, this one here is nearly three quarters of a metre long. So I can make a very, very long spring and save a lot of time. So that goes through through to the end. Now, that is the hole that we saw before. So, that then goes in the hole. I'll just hold it there. Now, I'll start the drill off. <laughs> now, when you're doing this, make sure the very first time you start it, you've just got to make sure it wraps around correctly so then it feeds everything out that way. So once that's started feeding correctly and turning then we can go go for it. Drill on low speed the winding of it going through the jig pretty much pushes the bar through itself and the best part is all I'm doing is holding both the drill and the jig everything else is feeding through itself. Now, I've made this out of nylon so it, so it won't uh, so it won't have much resistance against the bar. If you use any other material um, I've just used uh, lithium grease or something like that and just a really light spray so just a just enough to give it a subtle coating just so that it, there's not as much resistance between the jig and the bar so I'll continue as you can see it's my cameraman pans out. Yeah. <laughs> that it is a very, very long jig. 
and that's making a very long spring. So, I'm almost at the end. When I get to the very end of the bar, all I have to do is snip my wire, gangway cam cameraman. And then finish off. There we go. I then come to this end where I started off. I unhook. And there we go. That is one very long spring. Now all that needs to be done once you've got a really long spring like this is to stretch it out a bit. I just give it a bit of a stretch and cut each individual ring. So, and there we go. So you just keep using these these cutting pliers and make individual rings. So, thank you for watching.